Okay, for my DVD collection, I'm starting this time August, summer on this side. Some random finds I find thrifting, some I find on eBay, but most of these movies are just like a couple years old, nothing too super old or too involved in horror, but it's a mixture of movies. And I'm trying to get more into uh, Kung Fu karate stuff as well. Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, and stuff like that. And I'm trying to put up a couple of figures here and there. And there's some old tapes down below. And on this side. Disney movies, uh, cartoons, movies I don't really watch anymore. And random, random stuff. About a couple years old. Yeah, so that's how the shelving is looking. A couple dolls I pick up are like haunted dolls off eBay, so I keep them around. And I always keep one or two fans around. I'm trying to get another couple fans coming in. Sometimes they break down and I don't have those box fans, so I don't really know how well they work or how long they last. And I would like to add some more comic book figures, but those will have to wait if I'm really like cut up with my payments because I'm it's starting to get cut up with my payments right now and it's going to take a while before I get through that and I can't really add nothing this uh, summer or winter so I'm going to be looking at this for a while and up there it's going to be the same, nothing is going to change and I think on the other side I got to show you I got the listening station, a little bit more light this time around, I could remove this uh, dresser. Not a whole lot of clothes in this one, but I can remove it at a shelving here if I need to. My kids' poster and this other area of my room. You know, like quite a few of these fans lying around. Not a whole lot of posters, but got a couple around. I have filled the rest of the wall space with stuff I find thrifting. Uh, these two fans work still pretty good. They're pretty quiet. So I like to probably try to get a box fan and little small pictures, like larger pictures. Like I cannot buy because I don't drive. So. Like I cannot buy them in an auction or anything, so... Well, uh, larger so I could carry something like this, a poster. Anything larger with the frames would be really hard to carry on the bus. So, that's what I have to deal with. And moving into this area. So, more room cleaned up. Carpet. If I start painting again, then I could use this little area here, which I might have to move this little dresser down another couple of feet. Try and move out this little box area and try to set up an easel right here. But then oil painting is splashing and making a big mess and I don't do that anymore. And this is a new shelving along with my board game pickups. Some of those board games are pretty fun but still quite a few I want to get that I remember and some of them on eBay are pretty expensive. Uh, I'd like to get a couple more transformers in but I lost on one transformer and so I bought the wrong one. I did not like it when it came. And it was a Prime but it was a Jet. So I didn't like that. I threw that one out. If they don't take a refund, so I lost in that one. Figures are all pretty much the same. 
only time I made a mistake this year was with that Transformers. And I mix it up this way with the CDs, my DVDs. And I just put all the uh, games on this shelf. And if I get one more shelving, I can move my music onto it. And I could put another shelving there. And or I could put on this side. I don't really care about painting anymore, but sometimes people ask for painting and it's pretty expensive. Like painting it's about cost of our supplies, you have to get the box set, you have to get a proper easel. I could probably paint in the backyard. And one of the Bob Ross supplies will run probably a hundred bucks to a thousand years. with the added easel. You need a really good strong easel for oil painting. Plus you make a ton of mess and it's really expensive. So I'm just really happy with the seeds I got. Some of the small figures. Recent Aussie uh, pickup almost a hundred bucks to the original. I'm really happy with this one. Come now with a DVD. Uh, oh, that out. That cube. We really love that cube. Cube two. I'm gonna probably try to replace this one. This one's English and French. I'm not to replace it to just English. I'm not know at the time. And cube zero. So I picked up already two cubes, and they're both wrong when they arrived. So I'm trying not to get too many in different formats. The reason I picked up was the Ghostbusters. So that's a really nice one. And also. Walking Dead. The only Walking Dead one I have. The Atari is looking good. Atari, Atari stuff. That's probably the most expensive one I have. I've seen it go all the way up to 200 bucks even. So, I used to have that one. And I have Hero. I'd like to pick up one more controller and also they have controllers uh, for USB right now so I might try to pick those up end of the year and picking up pop when I can but winter things are going to be pretty tough to pop because of the snow so I have to probably try to get a cocoa or something but if I buy the wrong one then I don't have milk. So. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out for the winter. And I'm still trying to add a smallville. Watch it.